really disappointing uh, to end the way we did for those seniors. Uh, they've put so much into this program. They've put so much into uh, their time here. They've invested so much, and I can't thank those guys enough, those seniors, for investing back in, in myself, our staff, uh, <clears throat> that came in here and, like I told the nine six-year seniors, they all sat where you guys are at in December of 2018, not knowing what to expect, uh, not knowing what they were going to get. And uh, they, they stuck with it. They hung with me. Um, they came back for this six year. And I know they're disappointed that, A, we didn't get to where we wanted to go. Um, but the body work for those guys has been so impressive. And, and uh, you know, it's hard to win college games. And uh, we were not good enough on defense tonight. It was a very, very poor performance on defense. Yep, the, the footing was hard. It was difficult. But we can't give up big plays like we gave up, and and that's uh, um, that was the the difference tonight. We run 102 plays; they run 35, um, and uh, have it for 42 minutes. They have it for 17 and a half. Shouldn't lose a football game like that, but we did because we did not tackle and we did not make plays uh, across the board on defense, and uh, it's it's a shame because. Um, uh, I was so hoping for for those seniors that they had the opportunity to win. So what we talked about was this one's going to hurt. Um, we don't have a lot of things this week. And then we, we are going to play in a really good bowl game. And we've got to be able to reset uh, in another week uh, once we find out who we play. And then uh, uh, get them back together um, and uh, find a way to play a really, really talented team, whoever we play, and have a lot of fun with this group. Yeah. I, I, that's a great question, Fitz. Um, I've never seen it in my five years here. And um, I'm frustrated. Uh, I, I'm, I'm angry. Um, I've got a lot of different emotions that. Um, you know, we, we just we weren't good enough, and, and we've got to get better. We have to get better. Is the fact that you guys were eliminated from contention for the championship game before this? You know, we, we didn't even talk about that. You know, I'm sure they knew it in the back of their mind, but, you know, as, as, as we all sat here for three weeks, you know, with Baylor, we knew that the chances of us probably getting there uh, weren't the greatest, and the kids had talked about that and all the tiebreakers and stuff. And I'm like, guys, you just got to beat Baylor and take care of, of that. We were able to do that. Um, and then, you know, one team lost. But we knew that we were stacked against us against KU. But, you know, we played our tail off and, and found a way to beat a really good KU team and come from behind. Um, we had good practices this week. Um, did uh, I thought we were ready to play. Um, and, and I would still contend we were ready to play. We didn't make any plays on defense. And, and we'll watch the film and see where, what, what happened. Did Iowa State surprise you guys at all with the explosive? No, not really. Um, guys, in 2021, they had the first play of the game with Brees Hall for a touchdown. And it was probably a similar deal. And they run the ball and find ways to get extra guys to the point of attack as well as anybody does in, in college football um, that we play. And when you have that, you're going to be in a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations, and we didn't make one-on-one -on -one plays. Yeah, uh, without a doubt. You know, uh, I, I thought we weathered the storm really well in that first half, considering we gave up first play for a touchdown um, and didn't get it in the end zone. And they give another big score to go down 14-6. And, and, and we, you know, we got a couple turnovers, and we were able to um, score right before half. I thought I thought Ben Sennett was huge again tonight. I mean, that that kid is such a great football player. Um, and he got nicked up, so he didn't play the little bit of the last half of the, the last half of the fourth quarter. But the score right before half, I thought, okay, we got up a score. We're getting the ball to start the second half. Maybe we'll settle in um, because um, it was it was a, a not a great first half defensively, but it was only twenty to fourteen. Chris, 
Yeah, it was hard. There's no question about it. It, it was – there was a lot of snow. It was really chunky out there. Um, I, I was surprised. I thought we threw the ball really well um, in the snow. I thought Will threw the ball really well. Uh, it, it The footing was difficult. Um you know, it, it's it, once again, guys. It, I'm not making excuses. The footing was difficult, so we weren't in great leverage position sometimes to make tackles. And when you aren't, you tend to dive a little bit more. And when you dive, you're going to get stiff armed and get circled. And that happened uh, a few times. So, I, but they had the same footing. You know, they had the exact same footing. So it was, uh, it was a, a, a for sure different and difficult. Oh yeah, uh, that locker room is pretty down right now. That locker room is really down, especially all the seniors that put, you know, so much time and effort into this. And we so wanted to go undefeated at home, you know, that hadn't happened for a long time. And uh, you know, that might have been something that uh, they were putting pressure on themselves a little bit, probably defensively. Um, but um, you know, Iowa State we know is a good good team, and um, uh, they made some plays in the second half. We didn't on defense. Yep. Yeah, there was. Um, but, um, you know, with the with the flow of the game, um, Ben had just come out, Senate had, and we, we kind of talked about it. I said, now let's 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 kick it away and and see if we can get a stop. And that was the time where we had him on third and like 18 and we give up a touchdown. Hundred percent, yeah. Try to try to see how the game was going to go because I, I thought it'd be a field position game. Uh, the rushing attack, the longest run you guys had was fifteen yards. Is there any sense They're a really good tackling team. I mean, they're they're one of the best tackling teams in the Big Twelve. Um, they are every year. Coach, going back to that third and eighteen where they get the touchdown. Um, guys were playing shell, playing back. Did you ever talk about maybe trying to pressure? Or yeah, we talked about a number of things, but every time we'd gotten pressure, we'd given up a big play, um, and he would caught it bef before the sticks. And then, because well, it was on their sideline, I really didn't see what happened other than um, I saw him get out the gate, and, and it shouldn't happen. Anything else? Guys, appreciate all your stuff all year long. Guys, have been great, and I uh, wish we could have gotten a win for everybody, but. Uh, uh, thank you for the way you handled everything and for treating me well. So appreciate you guys.